Hi guys, it's Vesna here and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new, welcome and thanks for stopping by. If you're returning, thank you for watching. Uh, for today's video, I am participating in a challenge. Um, the challenge, for the challenge, we had to create a Mother's Day themed DIY. So for my DIY, I'm doing a picture flower pot. So what that means is it's a customized flower pot. That would be great either for a mother or a grandmother. Um, this challenge is hosted by Domestic Diva 76. If you have not checked out her channel, make sure you check it out. She's got some amazing videos. She's got cleaning, organizing, DIY, cooking, you want to see painted furniture or really cool DIYs, trash to treasure items. Uh, Sonia at Domestic Diva 76 is your gal. Uh, like I said, fantastic videos. So if you haven't checked her out, please be sure to check her out. As well, for this video, I will link her video, her um, channel as well as the playlist so you can see what all the other creators have done as well. I'm sure there'll be tons of inspirational ideas. So stay tuned and see how I've made my flower pot. Because we still have to be staying home, I am using what I have. So I had this Rust-Oleum um, white spray paint and this little canister. Um, it's a plastic canister from screws, like deck screws. Um, I found it in my husband's tool storage. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and spray paint it white. Now I apologize, I don't have a video of me spray painting. It was very windy, it was knocking over the camera, and I couldn't do it holding my phone and trying to spray paint at the same time. So I figure, you you know, it's okay if you don't see how I spray painted it. Once that dried, I brought it inside and I had gone off and printed off some pictures of my children. Um, and then I wanted them in black and white, so I um, printed them off. I, I tried to get them as close to the size of the container as I could. Um, and then I'll be sticking them on the sides, on all four sides of the container. Now I am using Mod Podge for this. Um, so I'm putting it a little bit on the back, a little bit on the container, and then I'll also be putting it over top. This will hopefully protect the pictures. Uh, the reason I chose this plastic container, I had some, I didn't actually have any square pots at home, but um, I had some boxes and things like that that I could have used, but I wanted to use something that if um, I were to want to, or if someone were to want to put a um, like fresh flowers in there, so that they could just put that in there, not worry about water seeping through or having to put something underneath or whatnot. So I kind of wanted it to be versatile. And I thought this container was cute as well. So some of the, the paint, because it was so windy, it kind of streaked a little bit. But because I'm covering it with this, I wasn't too, too worried about it. Um, when I was putting the pictures on, they were getting a little bit wrinkled so I just had to make sure when I was putting them on to smooth it out really nicely. I probably should have added more Mod, Pod Mod Podge. I cannot say, I always call it Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I probably should have added more Mod Podge to the back of the pictures.
So once that dried, I did not record myself doing this, but I actually added a little bit of black wax, the Anisone black wax. I tried to add the dark wax as well, but I didn't look like the way it looked. As you can see, the, the pot just looks a little bit less white, a little bit aged and a little bit antiqued. So then inside of the pot, I put some floral foam and then I put an orchid because again, it's what I had at home. And then I put this green moss on top. And I thought that that just made it kind of look like an actual orchid. I think it turned out really nice. Um, it would make a nice gift for someone and like a mom or a grandma. And it's personalized. So I really like the way it looks. I think that pop of color is nice. Um, if you like the way this turned out, if you want to see more, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out the playlist and check out Domestic Diva 76. Again, I'm linking all of that below in the description. And check out some of my other videos. I do DIY, some cooking, some organizing, and trash to treasures, all sorts of stuff. So check out my other videos. Thanks for stopping by and have an excellent day and stay safe.